Hey guys, what is up? It is Dominic and in this video we're going to be covering the new website templates. Now I've already made a video like this for the funnels when they had 169 new funnel templates, but now they have a ton of new website templates, which is super cool because yes, we love funnels. If you know anything about my YouTube channel, about how I position my SaaS company, you know I'm a huge supporter of funnels and one page websites. However, I do believe that the website templates are a lot more professional and they look a lot better as a whole. And you can easily take a really nice website and kind of turn it into a funnel, just as you can take a really nice funnel and turn it into a website. I also wanted to use this video to cover a question that I get constantly, which is, hey, there's no template for this. There's no template for this industry. There's no template for makeup industry. And I get how that might be frustrating if you have a client right there or a prospect right there, you're about to close and you can't find the template. And my answer is simple to that. Who cares? You can literally take any one of these, any single one of these and turn it into the niche that you want it to be. To give you a quick background of what I had to start with about a year and two months ago when I started on high level, I probably had 20 templates to choose from. You guys have like 500. I remember going over to the funnels page over here, picking the roofing template because it was the cleanest and most generic one I could find and using it for like six different industries. You have to adapt and luckily high level is making you not have to adapt that much because they're coming out with so many new templates. I swear they're gonna get to the point where you don't even have to do anything anymore. It's all just done for you. But with that being said, I wanted to cover some of the new stuff and some of the tips and tricks that I would use if my niche wasn't in here. So the first thing I wanted to do was cover the makeup industry because I saw in my Facebook group yesterday that a few of you actually have a makeup client and you're like, I don't know what to do. I can't find anything to go off of to build a website for. So I wanted to show you guys the hair salon templates and how you can easily adapt them to makeup templates. So first check this out. We used to only have two options. I remember doing this on TikTok and filming this all the time. We only had this one right here, Barber, and this one right here, Beauty Studio. And honestly, I think Beauty Studio is one of the best templates that they have. And it literally says beautiful makeup right there. I do not see how this could not be turned into a stunning makeup website. You can easily change all these photos to makeup photos. You can even add places to purchase makeup online. You can add stunning testimonials right here and even get an appointment, maybe book an appointment for some type of makeup tutorial or whatever it may be. I'll be honest, I don't know much about the makeup industry, but it just seems like everything is right here. And if they're looking for something more like e-commerce type, they're trying to sell products online, trying to sell makeup products online or even in person, then I believe there are rumors going around that High Level is actually building a shopping cart feature inside of the Sites tab. I cannot wait. I really, really hope this is true. I really hope it's coming out very soon. I know they added quantity recently in their payments tab. So you can literally purchase different quantities of products, which is something that I really, really needed from my first client in the custom apparel industry because people would purchase different quantities all the time. And it was really difficult not having that option. And in my opinion, it's high level saying, hey, we're working on this e-commerce thing. We're trying to get there. Give us a little bit more time. So with that being said, definitely check out the Beauty Studio template. I know it has already been a template before, but I really like it. Ooh, let's check out this one. It's got a discount coupon. I know a lot of you guys always ask about discount coupons. So this could definitely be a nice website for a barber shop or a beauty salon. But it seems from this photo right here, this is for a barber shop. I actually want to see this live. Hang on. And here we go. Wow, this is super, super clean. Very nice. I like this one a lot, actually. Now, of course, just from designing a bunch of websites on high level before, I would expand this. I'd change the margins on a few of these things, color schemes, you know, different things like that to make it pop better. But check this out. We got a discount coupon for 20%. This could easily be a clickable button that could lead to a discount on Stripe for your next appointment or maybe for one of these products right here that you would most likely buy in store. Then if we scroll down here, we've got our testimonials. Beautiful. And and then look at this. I mean, great photos. You can easily get photos like this on onsplash.com, which is actually built into high level if you didn't know that. And then you can change the dimensions of the photos to make it fit perfectly on Canva. But this is just really, really nice. You've got the barbers all right here. And then of course you have the map and where you can get directions. And that's honestly it. That's all you need. If you scroll all the way up and down, this is all you need. If you have a couple barber shops in your area and you think you could show them this right here, put their logo in right here. Just put their logo in and show them 
how awesome this website is and what you can do for them. And it's game over. I love this one. The next one I wanted to cover was coaching. I know this is a huge niche coming up. Coaching is a big one for high level. People are always trying to sell to coaches. Coaches need high level a lot because they can literally run their coaching business. But I noticed this one here at the bottom right. Now, of course, this is condensed in the preview. So let's find out what it actually looks like. And here we go. It looks great. Super stunning. Absolutely amazing. I love that gradient feature right here where it kind of disappears and the end. And then you've got more gradient over here. I mean, it's just, this is so nice. And you guys can easily change this, manipulate this into anything that you want. This doesn't have to say stress management. This doesn't have to say relationship coaching. You guys need to stop thinking this is so concrete. You should see this template the way that I see the template. And it's that I'm probably going to change some of these things that I'm going to go through all of this, that this photo might not be this photo. So in my head, I'm thinking of the exact dimensions that I'll need so that I can match this photo with something extremely similar, that I'll need a nice bio right here, that if my client doesn't have Pinterest, I'll probably remove this. Then I'll scroll down even more. I'll have the testimonials here. Maybe I'll add some photos of the people that left testimonials. Scroll down a little bit more. Let's say the coaching service doesn't have anything like this. They don't have any eBooks or goal setting or anything like a three-week career workshop. Guess what I'll do? I'll delete the entire section. Very easy, super simple to do. And then we'll scroll down even more, make an appointment that can easily lead to a pop-up calendar or just a new calendar in a different page. Scroll down a little bit more and there you go. The form, obviously I would want this form at the top, but I'd probably just make a button that leads to a pop-up. So you guys just saw what I did in 30 seconds going through this entire template. Everything that I would do for a hypothetical client that doesn't even exist yet. You need to start thinking like that when going through the website templates because I know all the time you guys always tell me, hey, there's no template for this or hey, I can't manipulate this template. But in my opinion, I could literally take this entire template and turn it into a construction website. Now, would I do that? Of course not, because I would just go over to the construction template, which looks much better and would ultimately save me way more time. But I'm just saying websites are not always set in stone. They're not always exactly what they seem. You need to be good at that. You need to understand that. And then you can broaden your imagination and go after any client that you want with confidence because you know you can fix any of these templates, change them, adapt them, and make them work. Now, here's an industry that I used to use all all the time for examples, auto dealers. If you guys have watched any of my TikToks or a lot of my YouTube shorts, then you probably know that the auto dealer template is one that I go to a lot because it's so clean. It's this one right here. This is the template that I've literally used in so many videos because I just think it's one of the cleanest websites I've ever seen on high level. I mean, look at that. In my town, that's a five to $10,000 site, easy. Very nice website and it gets a lot of views, trust me. But regardless, I noticed there was a lot more. So I kind of want to see what these other ones are like. Let's check this one out right here. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Not sure what all of these words are over here, but I'm sure it can be adjusted and changed. And then down here, we've got different cars. That's not bad either. And then of course, we have the numbers and the testimonials. And then lastly, the directions and how to get in touch. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Of course, I love the first one better. I don't think they're ever gonna make anything as clean as that one, but might as well check out a few more. Let's check out this one right here. Oh, wow, okay, this one's really nice. I actually like this one a lot. More of a clean cut, kind of almost looks like a funnel in my opinion, but very nice. I like this one better than the last one that we just looked at. So this one right now is going to be in second place for me. And let's check one more. Let's check this one over here on the right. Okay, pretty similar to the last one. It's going to have something more structured, kind of like it looks like a Facebook marketplace almost. Okay, I don't mind this one. This one looks pretty nice. I like the background texture. Obviously, I changed some things over here. I'm sure once expanded, it's going to look a lot different, but this one's not bad at all. All right, cool. I am excited about the auto industry. Maybe I'll make some new TikToks about it. All right, I'm gonna scroll down here and go to one that we haven't seen at all. This is a completely brand new industry they've added. This is repair slash general contracting. I believe this was added into funnels, but it was not into sites. So let's check this out. Yep, every single one of these are new. You can tell by the names. Repair and general contracting is huge. I know a ton of you guys are in the home service industry. I could have used this on so many clients back in the day. I really wish I had this. So let's check out this one right here. I'm actually super excited. Wow, more of a darker luxury theme, but I totally understand what they're going for. Now this is definitely for more of a high end company. If you're dealing with a startup or somebody that's like really local, they're not that big. They probably would not want this. It probably wouldn't really fit with their company style. So for now, let me go back out and let's find a new one. Let's check this one right here. Seems pretty simple enough. Fantastic. This one can easily be manipulated. All these photos, they seem super easy to change. I mean, this is great. 
I've got no problem with this one right here, but let's check another one out real quick. This one's definitely catching my eye right here. Okay, pretty similar to the last one. I think they're just trying to change up things here and there. And then you've got all these different photos. Nothing too crazy, kind of similar to the last one, but still works. This one looks colorful. Let's check it out. Okay, similar scheme as the last two, but okay, it gets a little different down here. I love this. You've got all the different interior design, graphic design, product design. You've got full project management where you can put all the designs, clients, and projects. You can show testimonials in a really nice fashion. And then they've got, I believe these are frequently asked questions. That's really nice. I haven't seen that too often on these sites. So not bad. This is definitely something you could show to somebody and I'm sure they would love it. And lastly, let me check this one right here. Very stylish. I knew this one kind of caught my eye. It's very small. This is the smallest one I've ever seen. I actually want to see a preview of this because right now I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, why isn't this in the funnel section? But it's really, really nice. It's clean. It gets a lot done in a very little amount of time. This is actually cool. I like this one a lot. I can definitely see me changing some of the photos here, the testimonials, maybe the color scheme, and having an unbelievably simple website that I can take to pretty much any home maintenance company, repair company, general contracting company, turn it into a snapshot and easily sell it to multiple in that niche. In my opinion, simpler is better, so this is definitely up there. I'm actually gonna download this template. I'm gonna mess around with it for a second, but I wanted to show you guys this. There's a get this template tailored button now where you can actually get it tailored by high level professionals themselves. So if you don't think you're good at making websites or you just don't want to do it, you can easily charge a professional to do it for you now. So here we are inside of the editors tab for that last template that we just went over. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know this already, but I wanted to show you how I find different photos. If the client doesn't send me their photos and I need some stock photos for whatever reason, or I'm just creating stock photos for a demo. This is how I do it. So we will click the green section right here. We will scroll all the way down until we get to BG image, click the button to the right. We're going to go to my media at the top. We're going to go to unsplash. And then we're gonna to go to search and we're gonna type anything that we want, literally anything. I typed in repair and we got a ton of repair photos. You can see people working, different tools that they might use. And they're all super professional photos. Like check this one out right here. Let's see what this one looks like. I mean, that fits perfectly. It's an absolutely stunning photo. You can use it as inspiration to take a photo of your client or have your client take a photo similar to this with their iPhone or something like that. And then of course, all you would do over here is change the font size, maybe add a border or a background so that everything pops a little bit better. And then if you watch my videos even a little bit, then you all know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to head over to the mobile section and I'm going to make sure it looks good in mobile. And I'll be honest, this photo actually looks good in both mobile and desktop. That's pretty rare to find. The only thing I would do is change the size of the font. And in my opinion, I'd probably just get rid of the entire section right here. And I would just keep the book and appointment right there at the bottom, but keep the words off because we're going to have our logo up here. They're going to know what the company is. They're going to know what the company represents. They're going to know they can book an appointment right here and everything else can be written below. So that's kind of how I would position this site. And then of course I can keep changing the photos as we go down and I can change everything that I want and make sure it looks good on both mobile and desktop. I have tons of videos showing how to make it look good on both mobile and desktop. So if you're struggling with that, please go watch my website building videos on YouTube because I promise they are covered inside of those videos. I would probably change the background. I'm not a huge fan of the red background. I'd rather have texture. I feel like for a lot of these, you need texture on the background to really get the photos to pop. So for this, I would definitely click this, head over to the background color, and I'd probably just make it white. But if I wanted to add texture, I would of course scroll to the bottom, change the actual image, go to my media, go to backgrounds, and we would find some type of texture or gradient so that it looks a little bit different different. Like if I were to use, and I'm not saying this is going to look good, but let's pick this one because it's got texture. See, notice it looks a little bit different down here. You can change the color scheme, of course, but you've got some texture added now that should hopefully make it pop, make it look a little bit better. And of course we can play around with this, pick different textures, find the ones that are going to fit best. You can even change the color of these textures. For instance, if I go over here to the left, I can go to background image opacity and I can go to heavy fade. And because we have a white color, it changed to a heavy white fade. But if we change it to blue, now we've got a blue fade and you can still see the texture in the background, but heavy might be a little too much. Let's do a half fade. You can still see, see those lines right there. You can still see that texture color is going to be kind of a mix of a gray and the blue that you chose and we can just mess around with this pick different color schemes keep on going back and forth find the color that you want maybe do something darker like look at this darker black maybe that'll do something to it doesn't seem to be popping maybe we'll do like a light fade more light there we go now let's try the black didn't do much let's try gray you know we're just going to play around with this until we find something that fits honestly i did not think pink would be the winner but for right now it kind of goes really well with the photos so that's how you add texture to the back 
background. Once again, I would play around with this a lot more. You guys are just seeing this live. I would most likely pick a different texture. I just picked the first one that I found, but I wanted to show you guys how to make websites pop a little bit more. All right, and that is it. Obviously, I didn't go over every single one of the new templates, but that was, you know, a few of them in a nutshell. Hopefully, you guys will go through all the templates yourselves and start to play around with them like I just did here. And then, of course, if you have no idea what this video is about or you have no idea what we're talking about at all, this is high level, the best software on the planet that allows you to white label it and resell it, repackage it at any price that you choose to build up that monthly recurring revenue. You can actually own your own software company. It's super cool. If you don't know who I am, I am Dominic Baptist, one of the top affiliates in the world. I actually just got the rankings back the other day. I am number two, number two in the world. That is absolutely crazy, guys. I cannot believe that I am number two right now. I'm so close, so close to that number one spot. So if you guys want to help me get there, then please use my affiliate link. It'll be one of the links in the description below. You will also be able to get my free course on all of this. Whether you're my affiliate or not, you can get that course right now. And then if you become my affiliate, you get another course after that. You also get to join my Facebook groups. You get my snapshots, my websites, my funnels, and basically everything I've learned over the past year of running my own SaaS company so that you guys can replicate it and do just as well as I did. That being said, please throw a like on this video. It helps me a lot. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.